Oh my God. That was one Fresno woman's reaction after a tree slammed down next to her grandmother's house yesterday. Dozens of trees down by wind and rain have city crews working now very hard to get things cleaned up. We even had a tree downed right here outside we our did. station. Our Rhett Rodriguez continuing our team coverage tonight. And Rhett, Mother Nature really doing some damage over the last 24 hours. That's right, Alexon. I'm here just off of South Sierra Vista Street. And if you take a look behind me, you can see just how strong yesterday's wind was. The roots are up in the air and it even took a little bit of the concrete along with it. It's like, oh Lord, did the sky bust open? Is Jesus coming back? <laughs> That's what Pia Sessions' grandmother told her after Tuesday's storm brought down this tree. A tree that had been standing on South Sierra Vista Street since 1959. When it came crashing down, it narrowly missed the living room where her grandma was watching TV. It, it scared her, you know, but I'm just glad that it didn't do nothing more than what it could have done. This is a big tree. So I just came over here today. I wasn't aware, you know. So when I pulled up, I'm like, is that a hill? You know? And so I come over and I'm like, you got to be freaking kidding me. The, the tree is in the yard. Fresno City crews have been working day and night to respond to more than 100 down trees. Ordinarily, the city would have two tree crews running at a time, and right now we have 10. Sessions is left wondering who will pay for the damages to her grandmother's home. I don't know if she's going to be responsible for the damages. This is the city we're talking about. So I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do if they don't help fix the fence or fix the roof, the damages that happen. What do we do? If you believe a city tree has caused damage to your home, you can file a claim with the risk management department. Reporting live in Fresno, Rhett Rodriguez, KC24, local news that matters.